There are some bands out there who deserve uttermost respect. And not only for their music, but also for not being afraid to take a stand for what they actually believe in. An Irish folk metal band Crookan is definitely one of them. folk metal pioneers who, by the way, this year celebrate their 30th anniversary, have been on the forefront of the Irish metal scene since pretty much its formation. Classic. Since Crookan were basically the co-founders of folk metal as we know it, together with Skyclad back in the early 1990s. Their founder and non-change leader Keith Fake, Crookan were able to gain die-hard following among folk metal heads across the world and especially in Europe, with their music intertwined in multiple subgenres and lyrical themes, including Celtic folklore, Irish history and mythology, and most importantly, the works of the greatest writer to ever walk the earth. J.R.R. Tolkien. It cannot be. And by the way, talking about J.R.R. Tolkien's themes in Kroakan lyrics, the band itself was actually formed as a result of disbandment of another band by Keith Fay called Minas Tirith, a full scale Middle Earth inspired black metal project. So, in a nutshell, Crookan is a definitive folk metal band. And if for some reason your folk metal playlist does not include at least three songs by Crookan, then after watching this video you should definitely change that fact. Especially since you will soon have a chance to do so with a brand new music by the band, as the guys have already finished recording their upcoming ninth studio record, The Living and the Dead. But honestly, music is not actually the only thing which makes Crookan so special. At least for me. During their 30 year long career, the band has established a huge following across Europe, as I already mentioned, yet one of their biggest markets was in fact in Russia, where the guys would almost always play sold out venues all across the country. And so when the full scale war in Ukraine broke out and I, together with fellow Ukrainian metalheads, were reaching out to the entire heavy metal community to voice their support for Ukraine, Keith Fay and Krokan were of course among the very first people who recorded their message of support and actually went far beyond that, as the guys not only recorded their message of support for Ukrainian people, but also decided to use their social media accounts, especially in those social networks which are popular among Russian audience, to spread the word about what actually is going on in Ukraine, and open their Russian fans' eyes to the atrocities which their army is committing in Ukraine, thus of course enormously shrinking their main market's audience, yet taking a stand for what they actually believe in, since as Kit Fay himself said, if they can change the mind and open the eyes of at least one Russian fan of Krokan, then they know for sure that what they do was not in vain. So yes, on behalf of all Ukrainian metalheads, thank you Keith Fay and Krokan for not being afraid to take a stand for what you actually believe in and for all your support for Ukrainian metalheads. And I promise you that when we will win this war and you will finally be able to come to Kiev, we will show you a very, very warm welcome. Slava Ukraini! Slava Ukraini! Slava Ukraini! But anyways, what do you guys personally think about Krokan? Please do let us know in the comments, as well as you would like me to talk more about this band's history or be among the first ones to find out what is inside their upcoming studio record. We got a new track! One that will be coming on the next album! Oh, and of course, if you would like to support Ukraine by rocking Metal Pilgrim t-shirt at your next heavy metal show, the link to a simple order form will be in the description to this video. Just wanted to point out that 100% of the profits I make from these t-shirts of course goes to support Ukrainian army here on the ground. So thank you so much for watching guys and we will prevail. Slava Ukraini!